Hey everyone, Joe here. Well, today I thought I'd do a little bit different retouching tutorial for everyone. Now, if you're like me, you have a quite a few old photos and stuff when you was growing up, a lot of Polaroids and stuff. And well, they're starting to tarnish and get kind of old and the best way to preserve those is to go ahead and scan them into the computer and uh, we'll keep them that way. The problem is a lot of times, uh, like I said, they're getting old, they're tarnishing, and they're not really up to, you know, standards of modern photography. So in this video, I want to show you how I take, like, uh, for example, this old photo here of me and my grandmother, and I kind of restored it back to something that looks a little bit sharper, a little bit nicer here. So let's hop over here in the Lightroom and get started. Okay, let's take the photo we're going to be editing here and open it up into the develop module. You can see here's a photo from March the 31st, 1981. Yeah, I'm 40 years old now. Yeah. <laughs> so anyway, there isn't a whole lot of magic we can do to a you know scanned photo here. This one I scanned in on my Canon uh, LIDE scanner, whatever it's uh, like LIDE 120, whatever it, that name of that scanner is. It's a little Canon scanner. It does quite nice. It's just a little simple one. But I didn't scan it in a really high resolution, it's only 600 dpi, which honestly is a lot more resolution than the photo can actually give you anyway. So anyway, like I said, we have a, the photo here, and it's, you can tell it's starting to turn quite yellow and stuff. And I don't think it actually scanned in exactly correct on the scanner anyway. So we want to kind of go through here, adjust the temperature so we can't sharpen this and make the photo look a little more fresher, a little newer and something we can keep around for many years. So the first thing we want to do here is actually going to go over here to the, the temp and tint is kind of adjust uh, everything to kind of look, uh, get the white balance back to the way it should be. So let's see here. It's like I said, it looks really yellow. So let me try and you bring the temp over. And let's pull those like a negative six around 20 or something. Other. Oh, negative 25. Yeah, that's looking really good. Negative 25. And it would make a little bit, uh, bring back the skin tones here, plus 15. I think that pretty much nailed it right there. That's yeah, pretty close to what I had originally anyway. Then, as you can tell, like my shirt down here is quite a bloat out. There isn't really a whole lot we can do with this. We took an analog image and scanned it over, so there's no real information we can actually gain from this for the most part. But I do want to drop the exposure here, say like negative 35, just in case. But we're going to bring up a lot more things here in the HS uh, white, the excuse me, highlights, shadows, whites, and blacks here in just a moment. But also, I want to drop the uh, the contrast just a little bit here, just a negative five just to kind of preserve any kind of detail for when I go uh, to actually add some clarity to this. So I said drop the contrast there, negative five. Then I actually want to pull down the, the, the highlights here. Let me say I pulled it down, say like negative 30 or something like that. Negative 33. Yeah, negative 35 is close enough. Then let's bring up the shadows here quite a bit. Since I dropped the exposure a while ago, I want to bring up these shadows. And plus 50 there. That's bringing back some detail and stuff in the image. Like I said, there ain't a whole lot we can do to this. It is an analog image. Let's bring the whites up here. About a plus 20. And bring it back up. See, about plus 19. That's close enough. And the blacks I'm not touching because everything's set. And so far, I really think that's helping a lot. So go over here to the previous image. You know, here's what it looked like before. And here's what it looks like now. So, so far, we've actually pulled up a lot more detail and stuff into it. Yeah, let's pull this back over here. So, now I want to bring in some clarity, and it's going to really help bring back some of the details and stuff I lost in the image. At least it's going to appear like it is anyway. Really help uh, kind of sharpen it up a little bit. Say around 33. Don't want to go too crazy on it. That little bit does help. Let me see. Let me see. Go back over here. That's how it looked before, and now we're up to here now. It's looking a little bit better. You know, not bad at all. Now there's some purples in here and magentas. Uh, I don't really care too much for purples and magentas too much. I'm going to drop those down, so like a negative 29 or something like that. And like a negative 25 here. So I have a negative 25 on each. Kind of you know, pull some of that purples and magentas out. The reason I'm doing that is because uh, the Polaroid image 
There could be, uh, you know, some chromatic aberration, you know, purples, magentas in it. And there's no way we can use a lens correction to get rid of that, really. <laughs> so this is just the best way just to kind of uh, reduce it a little bit in the image. That way, if there is any kind of chroma and stuff that's showing up, it's not as, you know, pronounced. That's about the only thing we really can do here. Now, the other thing here I want to do is do some sharpening. And we're really going to have to dial in the sharpening here to really make the image really, you know, pull out the details and stuff in it. Uh, because, like I said, it's analog image and a whole lot we can really do here. It's kind of like a move sliders and pray <laughs> for the most part. So anyway, let's kind of pull this up, say, pretty high here. I think I'm going to go somewhere about 100. I want to try that. May adjust it here in just a moment. Radius here. And I'm pressing the Alt key. That would be like the Option key on a Mac. And pulling the radius here. It's going to pull back, make those edges a little bit more sharper. Uh, the detail here, I'm going to pull up here to about pretty high also. Bringing that detail. You know, any kind of information that's lost. Yeah, might as well pull up all the way. Then I'm going to mask this out. And say about around the sun, probably around 70. 71, there we go. So if we turn off the sharpening, then turn back on, as you can see, that really is helping make the image look sharper. And that really does help quite a bit, to be quite honest. Now, normally I wouldn't use this much sharpening ever in a photo, but this image is already soft and really there isn't much anything we can do to, you know, to it to help bring out the detail. And it's already much larger on the screen than it is in real life anyway. But I really think, especially just sharing on Facebook and stuff, this is really going to help a lot of those images and stuff. You know, bringing back those uh, the details and stuff in those old photos and stuff that are probably starting to you know, fade out and lose and stuff. And, of course, scanning over the computer is the best way to keep those from uh, going away forever. You know, press all those old memories and stuff you want to hang on to. So anyway, that's it for this little quick tutorial. I know I haven't did too many uh, touching tutorials here lately, but this is one I've been planning on doing for a while, and I've just been uh, meaning to get out my scanner and stuff, start scanning some old photos uh, and bringing them into the computer. And I thought, why heck, uh, it's time to share this uh, tutorial and stuff with everybody. So like I said, it ain't a lot you can do with old analog photos, but there is a little bit you can do to kind of bring back and preserve those uh, memories and stuff from the past. So anyway, I hope you like this tutorial. If you do, how about give me a thumbs up? Thumbs up's always highly appreciated. If you're not a subscriber to my channel, go ahead and take the time to subscribe. Subscribing's free. It's for you. It lets you know when I release more videos. Until next time, thank you for watching.